and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena, yeah, no, it feels good to say it. Just say it with me out there one more time, everybody. The faithful, rise, all rise. Yorian. Uh, so yeah, Yorian is back in the Historic Brawl format. Look, I know if I'm going to keep some of you around for the Historic Brawl content during my vacation from Standard on this beautiful month of January in 2023, I've got to bring the hits, the bangers. And is there any card that has been a bigger part of my channel than Yorian? Maybe Embercleave, but we don't talk about Embercleave. But uh, yes, we're going to update this deck with all kinds of fun things to blink. And there have been a ton of great updates and auto includes in Yorian since the last time I made a Yorian video. Over a year ago, I've actually made three Historic Brawl Yorian videos now. They're the most watched Historic Brawl Yorian videos on YouTube, if I do say so myself uh and uh yeah uh it's time to update it because there are so many good printings for one thing any mana rock that enters untapped is a good printing with yorian of course so bringing in like gilded lotus and maze mind tome is nice and all that's that's great yippee kaye but really like this alchemy card which i had the pleasure of previewing uh this is one of the bangers, the absolute bangers that you can bounce the opponent's things and make duplicates for yourself and then Yorian blink it and keep making more and more duplicates of the opponent's things. The Warzone Duplicator is a straight up yes, put that in your Yorian Historic Brawl deck. Other new cards that go right in. I don't think I had Nightclub Bouncer last time, just an uncommon out of alchemy. This is one of the most annoying cards you can ever blink with Yorian because every time it bounces a non-land permanent and opponent controls, it costs one more to cast next time. Speaking of casting it next time, what if you just couldn't? Reflector Mage. This is a new printing from the Explorer Anthology 2. When you flicker this sucker, whenever it enters the battlefield, you bounce a creature the opponent controls, and they can't cast it next turn. You gotta just look at it. You gotta play something else. This card was so good, it was banned in standard a long time ago. Then uh, Oracle of the Alpha came out in September. This one definitely goes in your end to just pack your deck with Power 9 absolutely 100 percent so yeah there's just a number of cards i'm excited to show you uh pull of the mist moon is basically an oblivion ring or banishing light type effect that turns it another card in your hand into a banishing light type effect another alchemy card and then eerie interlude blinks your whole board and brings it back and if that board includes yorian when it returns you get another trigger to do more yorian so yeah we're going to blink things. I'm going to show you this absolute beast of a deck. It is a winner. It is a champion. It is Yorian Sky Nomad. Let's dive in. Let the Yorian nonsense begin. Very first game, Yorian Mirror. I've got Sublime Epiphany, which could shift the game if it resolves. So I'm going to keep this hand based only on that and nothing else. We've got the Displacer Kitten, we've got the Herder, but we don't have value blinks. There's a Spirited Companion that's going in a portable hole, probably. Uh, though the Maze Mind Tome makes me rethink that. Let's go. Start getting our Scries on. Opponent also getting some Scries on. The Prince. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. They're definitely doing a lot better early with the key pieces than I am. I need, like, Skyclave Apparition, something like that. I think the value train's already flowing over there. Mine is lacking. Key can help. Alright, so let's take away the Charming Prince. To the, try to keep that from happening. Play the tower. Threaten to counter something, but I'm not gonna. Because I can't. Don't tell him. What? Note your life total. At the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card if your life is greater. I mean, that's a way to get value. It's a very interesting piece in Yorian. I wouldn't ever think to run that. We'll see how it works out for him. I'm really curious if they're going to mess with my key. Please don't mess with my key. I needs it. Very bad. 
uh lightning bolt doom blade d spark i guess d spark handles this however um if the opponent blows up the key which i think is reasonable very reasonable then none of this is any good makes me i'm tempted to just discard the d spark but i'm gonna keep it for optimism and discard the soul herder i think we're still gonna need the land drop Yorian? I would love it if they played Yorian. Just, you know, nice baby Yorian. Don't mess with my key. Okay, if they're gonna kill the key, March is fine. Because it's very expensive. I think I'm gonna get this kitten down. But kitten doesn't do too much right now. I'm trying to think if I need to scry this tome. I don't think I do. Okay. Hmm. Very curious situation. Because I could play a Yorian, but it doesn't do too much. I could play a Kitten and just have Essence Flux to protect it. And it could reset my Tome. That's about it. We really need a value piece to set this hand ablaze. Kittens are scary, though. They need to be respected. Our opponent drawing cards off their splendor. Uh, okay, wedding announcement. You got it. Makes a little one ones. Interesting. Nothing else. Okay. I guess let's get this scry since we can reload this memory lapse. More ways to protect my kitten. What am I playing here? I can't really attack. I think I've got to do better. Tempo isn't that good for me right now. I need card advantage and I need to be able to, to cope with the board and I'm just not drawing cards that do that. I guess I'm just gonna try to play Yori in here. If the opponent counters it, they do have the mana for that, don't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can't do that. Um, if I attack, I can energy flux my own kit into safety. That's not good either. Nothing's good. We just have to keep letting them draw and get further ahead. Hopefully, we can bottleneck them at some point. Okay, here comes the apparition. That is a play. They're going to try to remove the kitten. We'll play this flickering tome. If they counter the essence scatter, we're in trouble. But we have so much open mana, they might not do that, and it lets me resolve Yorian. Oh, they do it. Okay, we have to draw a playable card here. Dude. <laughs> yeah, it's not my game, that's for sure. They have the apparition that we needed, but now they are tapped out at least. I mean, yeah, this, this couldn't go worse. I'm trying to be a Yorian master here, guys. Could you not? All right. Doesn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. This is so bad. If they Yorian, it doesn't do anything. Uh, so it's fine. Just you. Worst Yorian of my life, I think. But it's still Yorian. Smothering tithe. Uh, sure. Should have just drawn with the tome in response, but I think maybe they're waiting for something. Nope. No good. I mean, I cannot draw a card to save my life here. I could not draw a reasonable card. Are any of these mine? No. I mean, it starts the flicker train. Maybe that's worth it? Because we add anything else to it and that's how we get back in it, right?
Okay. Come on. All right, opponent. Time for your Yorian turn. Let's go. Do it. Do it. Okay. So infuriating. Thassa, sure. Uh, I guess we have to counter Thassa. So I'm not going to get to set up what I wanted to set up with Yorian or Sublime Epiphany because the opponent is being super weird, but it's fine. We'll counter the spell. We'll return something. We can get an extra Yorian Flicker, but I have no use for it, and we'll draw. Um, what do we return? Let's return the Smothering Tithe. It's a very expensive play. Lockdown. Um, maybe the start of something. They get their Charming Prince back. Or do they? Stops and stops. All right, have we finally gotten past all the trash? Not yet. <laughs> all right, my turn. They discard the hand size. They discard Curse of Silence. Uh, let's just draw. <laughs> it's a land. How? 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 How can I get this unlucky? All right. Come on, deck. Come on. Come on. Give me something. Thassa. Thassa. The card that they could not resolve. Excellent. Um, lockdown gives them back their prince, which I hate. There's got to be a way. So I can free the prince from the portable hole, right? And then lock down. But I have to think, wait a turn to do that. All right, let's get into gameplay. Let's turn off that auto order triggers. If I play this now, they get back their prince and they can exile their... Skyclave Apparition, which is pretty bad for us. All right. So, we want to return the Yorian, then use the Thassa? Wait a minute. If we have to pick our Thassa target now when this goes on the stack, right? So that means we need to flicker. We do need a Thassa first. We need to flicker the Charming Prince. Because we got to do it like this. Okay, and we will get our scry two. Those don't suck. Where have you guys been? I don't even know what to do with a card this good. All right. I mean, time walk in the deck can make a difference. So this is back on the field. We should probably get the Thassa off the field because of the Skyclave Apparition. We could give them back a Charming Prince now. And then when would they, they would get the Skyclave Apparition back at the end of the turn, which is the same time that this returns, right? And mine resolve first. So they don't have to pick a target till this enters, so they would be able to kill the Thassa. Okay, so it's these. Probably time for your Yorian, but maybe they're, they've been afraid of counter spells the whole game. I go for a Warhound. Probably should have put a stop there so that didn't resolve so easy. Might give them too much confidence. But everybody knows about Tail's End and they know about Wash Away. Jeez, they love their enchantments, don't they? They absolutely love enchantments in this build. It's an enchantment prison Yorian deck. How am I going to get black mana for this? D-Spark. Whoa! Okay. Um... They don't have a legendary, so this isn't Iganjo. So I, they're just they're just attacking because they're getting it. They're getting worried. Yeah, they're getting worried. Um, let's put a stop here. We need to use this tome. Uh, exile or gain life. Gain life. We've got the Thassa to keep the loop going. Chandler? All right, what does Chandler bounce? Does it bounce? I mean, the wedding announcement's a pretty good one. The Splendor is a four-mana enchantment. I think the less of those they have, the better. 
These also can raise the devotion. And our opponents left up two mana a lot, so I think they've got a counter spell for something. But let's start with Oracle. Maybe they counter this? They do not. Ooh, power nine coming in. All right. How about this? Counter this? All right, that's the thing. That's what got him. Sure. Let's lock down do now. Still have this Charming Prince Skyclave Apparition problem that we've got to solve first. What can I say? Building for the mirror, not really something I do. All right. Um, I think I draw here instead of leaving four mana up. Let's put a stop back here because who knows what we'll come up with. Put a stop here. Ancestral Recall. I hear that's an okay card. All right, hide these cards. Very much at risk if they find a Tail's End or something that, you know, counters the end step trigger of bringing things back, but we can't play around it. Not when you're behind. Not in a situation like this. Teleportation Circle, it's gonna be a tough one. Wanna attack? Yes, they do. All right, the best thing to flicker is this cleric, I think. We go to 11. Circle targets Warhound. Okay. I'm surprised they don't want their prince back. Are they afraid of giving me a 4-4? Four -four? Here's stuff. I guess I'll gain three life from the prince again to offset the damage. Now they go to flicker their Skyclave. So they're going after the Thassa. Um, we could try to draw a counter for this, and I have a few in the deck. Let's go for it. We didn't find one. Did find the Sky Sovereign. And we did find Gilded Lotus, which turns on D-Spark. Right. Go ahead and get our Scry. Land, we'll take it. Gotta keep hitting lands through it all. Gotta stay up on lands. Another power nine into the pile. Yeah, the Warhound rec re represents, uh, it recognizes the importance of land. Maybe it was even right to block it. Soaring City. That might come in really handy. Do we want to take the fight to them with this summon splendor on the field? Things are getting a little dicier. Our flicker train is momentarily stopped. We can pick back up the prince to restart it. That is something we can do with the soaring city, but I think we want to deploy as much of this stuff as possible. What are we exiling? Probably the circle. All right, let's uh, show them what's up. Duplicator, yes. Maybe I don't want to get rid of the apparition just yet. I can draw right into that right here. So enters the battlefield, return target creature with power less than to its owner's hand. Target creature and opponent controls. Oh no, the 3-3 three, three versus the 3-3. Three, three. We have to return something else first, then flicker it. And we can't return our own charming prince. Okay, that's rough. All right. Well, I definitely want this. And I definitely want this. And I think I will just kill the apparition and make another 4-4. Four, four. And I don't have the mana right now to bounce this and replay it. But now that this is gone, maybe letting the Charming Prince happen with a temporary lockdown is a good idea, but gets rid of our tokens. I hate that. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Think. Think. I think we just draw this. I think I just use this to pick up the Charming Prince here. And I pass? Oh, that can't be right. That can't be right. Let's just play it out. We'll find another way. We'll restart our loop soon. But we, we will find another way. I'm confident we'll find it. Let's develop our board. It's too important to have a board. Wow. 
Okay then. Okay. I have this in my deck too. Really could have used it. Okay. Well, at least they don't get back their prints because artifacts do exile first. Blade Splicer I can I can hit with the duplicator. Two four fours, huh? Right. Mox Ruby doesn't cast D Spark, does it? This is seven. We have seven. Oh yeah, we can do this. All right. So duplicator. Target your blade splicer. Make me one of those. Uh, Lockdown can kill both of their Blade Splicer tokens, but we can wait because they're going to play it again. They're going to play it again. Just wondering whether or not to get Yorian back on the field, but right now it doesn't really do that much. Gets rid of one of their tokens. Not an issue. Okay. Let's just go like this. Now hold the Ruby just in case we wouldn't want to lock it down. Splicer's back. Four fours arriving. Tax. We're gonna lose this one anyway, yeah. Go to ten. Now they play tithe. Man, they love their enchantments. Okay. Land count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mox Jet does play D-Spark. Hallelujah. Um, so I think I pay for the treasure. Do I? Seven. D-Spark lockdown. No, we don't. Decline. All right. In that case. Here we go. Hit him. Nice. All right. Now, we Yori and the Blade Splicer and the Duplicator, but we can attack with the Duplicator first. Ox Jet. Rid of the circle. I'm not going to draw any cards here. Am I going to get Force Spiked? Might as well not. <laughs> Don't think so, but might as well not. Yorian! Better than the first one, but we're all out of toys. <laughs> we won't survive another farewell, that's for sure. That draws. Right now, everything that draws is good for them. But Warzone Duplicator means we get copies of it if we can find ways to flicker Yorian. Narset. That is pretty good. Let's see what we get. Uh-oh, stick. No counter. Dig. Nothing. Oh my goodness, what has gone wrong today? What did I do to deserve this? Um, we don't want the, anything bad to happen to the duplicator. Yorian can attack in the air, but then the counterattack to Narset is brutal. They're at 22. I really do need to damage them somehow, but I don't have it. I just don't. It's all falling apart. I think we actually know Narset prevents the card draw, so we defend Narset. And step. Loud shift. Makes more golems. Ephemerate. Okay, they're going hard on this blade splicer. I will block with my Yorian. <laughs> and they seem really excited about it. Look at them just popping off here. But here comes Narset to slow down the card draw, and that's huge. Chandler, target? What are you going to target? One of my tokens? Okay. 
I don't think they have enough to kill me. They need more. They have Mender. They gain two. They play Yorian. Okay. Narset's gonna take a lot of the power out of this. And they also lose their Splicer for the buff, so they don't attack at all. They return something. They're gonna work on my tokens. All right. This is huge. We have to. Uh, I will pay. But we have to find a way to flicker our Yorian. We whiffed on the last one. We get Time Walk. Uh, seems good. We'll try it. Okay, come on. Draw away to flicker Yorian, please. That's some land. Come on, deck. R. Please kill it. They didn't kill it. They're too smart. Okay. Come on, deck. No! Unbelievable. They do nothing? I draw a soul partition? I mean, we try. We try. Ah, come on! What the hell is... We're still not going for it. Come on! What the hell is wrong with this deck? This is not fair treatment. This is very, very unfair. I'm glad they're scared to attack, though. That's the only thing I have going for me. They're cowards. They're pathetic cowards of magic players. Not enough golems. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that's your problem. I'm pretty sure they just have lethal and are blowing it in that sense. But if they keep top decking counter spells, they have nothing to lose, right? <gasps> Narset on the board? No way. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Thank God they're a coward. <sighs> I choose which one to keep. YOLO! <gasps> it worked! It hap- it worked! Oh my gosh, it worked! Are you- are you kidding me? Superior Yorian coming through! It's like... <laughs> that... That game... Was a roller coaster. We go first, but this hand does nothing for a really long time. Uh, up against Gigantha. Five color Elking. Um, this hand also does nothing, but maybe we'll draw a white source. Uh, it's, mm, I should probably mull it, but on the play, with a play on turn three, I can try it. It's definitely a subpar hand. Okay, white source found. That's good. Now we have Teferi. And Solomon line. So a good amount of Yorian value. Gilded Lotus. It's a lot of mana. Our opponent has the power nine in their deck. That didn't take long. The, on the bright side, we could copy it, but I don't have to do that yet. 
Let's get the mana right. Gigantha is the most likely thing on Teferi. Alright, let the scrying begin. To the top. Is it a time walk? Could be a time walk. Anybody else get really tilted when they cast Oracle and then you know that they top decked the next turn? One of the power nine. Yeah, that's baloney. All right, what did they foretell? It's got to be All Runs Epiphany, right? Not many other cards make sense for their archetype, so they do have a time walk. It's just that time walk. Do we play Teferi? If we play Teferi here, it might get attacked down unless we bounce Oracle. If we bounce Oracle then recasting it won't be too hard for them. We could also metamorph their Oracle, but then we have no way to flick our Teferi except for Teferi. Sorry, Yorian, except, except for, shut up. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to copy their Oracle. They do have mana open, but it's only one blue. Let's make sure that the Lotus resolves. Okay, it does. Hits! Oracle! Prepare for the Epiphany. I guess they need one more mana. They've got Golos. Gross. Well, I can turn my Metamorph into a Golos. That's kind of hype. But we've got to remember that they probably have a free turn coming up. So we scry to the top. That's not very good. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. All right. Teferi. I know my bounce what? If we bounce their elf, they can't... Epiphany next turn? Yeah, they can. They just hit untapped land. Bounce your Golos, I guess. Doesn't feel great, but we do what we must. Go team. Swords, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Do I have a way to draw it? I do. The Mender draws it. It's huge. Um, could Swords their Elf and make them hit the untapped land? It's interesting. Yorian! Stop on instep. <laughs> oh, we're going to shuffle. We have to stack our triggers. Oh, no, we don't have to. This is a leaves trigger. Easy. Never didn't have it. Actually, we need to be able to tap this for blue so we can't get this back and cast it. All right. Yeah, let's take out their elf. Metamorph copies. Could copy Yorian and do it again, but I don't think so. I think we copy Oracle again. Triggers. Go get the white. And we can get back the swords, but we can't cast it because we can't ca tap this for two different colors. Here's Golos. Okay. They didn't get to Epiphany us. That's by design. They're so close to doing busted things. They're, they're just right. It's right there. But we're not letting them have it. Yeah, they could attack into the Orion. That's a choice. All right. Siphon. Get back swords. Yeah. So next turn, we get two swords. Probably their Oracle. Then we bounce the Yorian with our Teferi, recast it, flicker everything, bring it back on Ncep, Siphoner gets back swords. We copy their Golos, then we swords their Golos in the end step. Oh, it was it was about to get it was about to get really nasty. Today's Patreon shout out goes to Dozy Doze. Dozy, you're cool. 
All right, we go first. We have Mole Drifter. If we wanted to evoke it, we have Tails End for Professor Onyx. Against Mono Black, though, your hand doesn't really matter because they're going to tear it to pieces. And you'd almost rather not have good cards and important cards like Farewell in your opener. So let's just mulligan and try to get better colors. And yeah, turn one Esper Sentinel against Thoughtseize. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Do need to draw land. Maybe Esper Sentinel will help. Flux can save Esper Sentinel if they try to target it. That's nice. All right, come on, land. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You feel this stick? They really want to kill this, don't they? Oh, that's a draw card. Maybe I let it go. I could also just counter it. <laughs> I could also just counter it or flicker it. Um, we don't do anything else with our turn, though, and this elite spellbinder might be a really good play. I'll take another card. I, I, I think that it's going to be hard the longer the game goes to get more cards from the Sentinel anyway. Yorian and Taxes. Oh, Dark Ritual. Gross. Um, does this do? Okay. Four in a hand, rest in the graveyard. Sure. Pristine Talisman. Yeah, so Ramp Cards, Murderous Rider. Let's take the Dark Ritual. Let's take the Broken Card. Let the life game begin. All right, we've got the Mind Stone. Swing. This looks like it'll get annoying. This time, oh, that was easy. <laughs> that was an easy choice. Man, that would have been gross. That would have been really nasty. Lantern of Revealing, land off the top. Yeah, yeah, this is about to get really nasty. But I think we, do we start holding up mana? I think we can hold up Essence Flux here. Swing. I'm gonna bounce the Talisman. Now it costs one more to cast perpetually. I'm gonna end the turn. Gonna make more things cost more. <laughs> that was, oof. Taxes, Yorian. Ah, just when you thought the blinking was annoying, you ran into Taxes, Yorian. Gross. Our opponent claims to be Narset Enlightened, but they're running Prosper Tomebound. They're having an identity crisis. This hand is good, though. We'll keep a two and a three value card into a teleportation circle. Geistway probably has to take out Prosper, though. Prosper is a pain. We need to find something to remove it. The opponent didn't play a turn two ramp piece. That's good. Do we play a ramp piece? I don't think we do. It's not like we're in a hurry to play this. I think that they might have artifact removal. So if they remove the farm hand, we still get value from it. Bang, bang. Some people probably ask about the snow-covered lands. They are there in case I somehow manage to copy or clone something that fetches a snow-covered land or searches a snow-covered land. So I at least, like if I somehow steal an into the north, I've got a lot of things that take stuff from my opponents in this deck. So it's not unrealistic. Let's go ahead and drop the Signet and the Charming Prince. And we can scry any lands to the bottom. But key to the archive is a keep. Here comes the Prosper Party. Very, very, very dangerous card. And they get a murderous rider. So Charming Prince isn't long for this world. Using Geist Wave on it is tempting. 
to make them cast it again because by the time that they start like doing a lot with it, things get really difficult. If I play key and it gets blown up, the tempo blowout is huge. But how else am I going to solve this problem? I could just make them relive this turn, right? And maybe they'll just cast the Murderous Rider or lose it forever. So I guess that's the play. Who knows? Maybe we'll draw a removal spell for Prosper next turn. Mender on the field. They got their double black, but they're going for Prosper. They're going to lose the rider. Light up. Gross. But they don't get to play either of those yet. Next turn is going to be terrible. Crux of Fate, they're not going to use that. Big score, though. We might have to pack the big score. If we're going to pack the big score, we should play the key. I was going to play the circle, but I think we have to play the key so that we can do something with our turn next turn, even after packing a big score. This is tough, though. This is very tough. Could also Yorian start looping. If they cast a big score, they're going to have so much mana. But maybe I don't pack that. Maybe I just let them have all that mana. And just counter the biggest, scariest thing. Or anything that messes with my key. Yeah. Uh, this is rough. This is really rough. Demonic Tutor? Time Warp. <laughs> um... <laughs> I think it's the tutor, but I have to counter anything that targets my key to the archive. Okay. 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 Here comes a scary turn. They're going to get so many treasures. I can't believe I just had nothing to deal with Prosper this game. It's... The deck doesn't overload on removal by any chance, but by any stretch of the imagination, but geez. Could just needed one piece, you know? Think we let this happen? Hope they don't find anything to kill the key. I have six mana here. I play a storm kiln artist. How dead am I to that? If I demonic tutor, I can get Supreme Verdict, farewell. Um Yeah. I think we're going to wipe the board. Okay, bring him out, bring him out. Cool. I guess I'll see what I draw before I wipe the board, but maybe I should just block this. Could be a big mistake, though. Let's take it. We don't know for sure what's going to happen. Let's see what we draw. I get another land. Portable hole. Okay. Demonic tutor. Can't do the six mana plays. We had to discard that land. How about Elspeth Conquers Death? How bad is that? The Storm Kill and Artist is so dangerous though. But they kind of hit us with a huge shot there and we didn't die. That's a good sign. Do I not run Supreme Verdict? I guess I do not. Um, pull the Miss Moon though. Oh, no, that only gets one thing. Oof. Could, could pick the Reflector Mage. They have too many things that are threatening, I would say. Yep. Okay. I have chosen Elspeth Conqueror's Death. They are set up for a mega turn. Let's see what they do. Okay, they replay Prosper. Well, that's good. If that's all that they do with their turn. Okay, they've got some mana. They attack with their giant. I don't think they want to attack with much else. They're going to go with Magda, though. Okay, we block. Are you going to kill this? Weird. All right. Yeah, they're saving Magda. Sure. I'll lose it. That's fine. 
Eerie interlude. Exciting. All right, taxing them with the ECD. Very good. But now, yeah, now is when the deck starts to come alive. So five mana to Yorian. Two mana left over. So that's probably a glass casket that can target the giant. Yes. Yorian! Down to seven. I wanna... I guess I have to name my targets first and my modes, so... Doesn't matter which order. Um, we're not going to continue the loop. We're gonna gain life. We need to live. So, artist or... Prosper, and it's got to be Prosper. If Prosper's off the board, they're just much less effective, plus they're taxed. So the Stormkill Artist can't go mana positive easily. Regrowth, Lightning Helix, Electrolyze. Regrowth. Demonic Tutor. It's pretty good. Although, what would I get? It's very unclear. Let's take the thing that gains life. And let's discard the portable hole. Although this can be used to pick off treasures. Circle might be too slow here. Interlude, I think, is definitely out of position, though. Mm. Maybe it's just supposed to be the helix itself, but I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm going to pick, I'm just going to pick the most expensive card. When in doubt, that's usually an okay thing to do. Especially when your back is against the wall. Prosper comes back. Uh, is this the packed moment? And then we still have two mana open? Yes. I want to have the helix here. Wish I'd drawn a white source for the hole. But yep. No more artist. Three more life. I don't think I want the ECD to go, so this interlude might be able to save it, even with this trigger on the stack. Reservoir! Yeah, it's a, this is a storm version of the deck for sure. They were trying to pop off and cast like a million spells. All right, so choose our target, and I think this works. Going to target the Mender, then use the Interlude. Oh wait, it doesn't come back till end step. Okay, I didn't have to do it right there. I, I often forget what blinks and what waits till end step with this deck. Just part of my experience, I guess. All right, let the value commence. We will draw a card, so we can use the key here to get something. We draw Soul Partition. Okay. Gix. All right. Now we have to keep the opponent below 50. Oh, ho, 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 they're discarding. What do they get? No, that's my... Oh, wow. Is that Apparition and Temporary Lockdown? It is. Oh, no. Wait. Wait, 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 these are mine. These are mine. The Charming Prince can get them. We go up to 30. Look out. Wow. Their, their Gix did work, but their Apparition doesn't hit anything. Does it matter? We're back. Exile another target creature you own. 
That's you. It's one of the few cards that can get things back from the other side of the board like this. All right. Is one of these cards better? I guess Counterspell's better. Regrowth getting back Elspeth Conqueror's death has to be good, though. Green, green. We don't have the mana to play it this turn, but my gosh, is that good. Soul Partition's not bad, though. Can I attack them this turn? I don't think I can. That's important because of the Reservoir. All right, Regrowth. Still on their end step, remember. Okay, there's a companion. There's a tail's end. That is for Prosper. Get rid of that. Um, hmm. When are we going to have our Yorian trigger coming back? So we need to keep the tail's end open. But we can attack because we're going to flicker this. Decline. There's the Skyclave Apparition. Yep. Let's go. Back in the hole with you. And definitely cask at you. Okay. That got a little wild for a second, but we definitely found a way to get back in it and tie things up. And we are back for a post-game wrap and checking out the stats. And Yorian is 15 and 2. <laughs> two hours and 36 minutes to get those wins also played it on ipad a lot where i won a lot of games as well if you want to see like my history of revisions you can check out a lot of swaps here and there uh but yeah 15 and 2 the deck is an absolute smasher on the ladder a banger competing in i would say low a high b tier you get a wide variety of commanders and many of them just bow to the value created by the sky nomad so let's go sky noodle this is the way to be if you want to pick up those dailies and have those sweet sweet brain chemicals of flickering your stuff for value and you want to yell yorian at the top of your lungs and confuse those around you i've got a deck for you thank you for watching this video and staying till the end that is the best thing you can do for the channel but if you really want to top it off you can hit the like button and hit subscribe and leave me a comment and thank you very much i'll see you in the next video you're cool Phyrexia's power continues to grow as it prepares to take over the multiverse and make everything one. All pre-orders for Phyrexia All Will Be One products will sweeten the deal with an all-new exclusive CGB Dragon token. Every single sealed product, commander deck, bundle, everything that's coming with the new set gets upgraded with a CGB token for free. Get your pre-orders in and become complete with Phyrexia All Will Be One. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock.